now we are going to have a video tutorial on theories of motivation it is prepared for scholar support program by Abbas Watholi, assistant professor of commerce Amal College of Advanced Studies Ilambo. first of all we have to understand what is motivation motivation is a need or desire that energizes and directs behavior or it is a force that starts and keeps people at work or it is a power that stimulates people to achieve their goals now we can look at need for motivation need for motivation can be viewed from individual's point of view and organizational point of view from individual's point of view motivation is required to determine your goals to maintain a positive attitude to leave personal problems aside, to upgrade your knowledge and skills, to be passionate at work, and to confront challenges and fears. And from organizational point of view, motivation is needed for effective utilization of human resources, to maintain good human relations in the organization, as a basis of good cooperation, and to ensure less absenteeism. Now we can move to theories of motivation. Motivational theories can be broadly divided into two content theories and process theories. The early theories emphasize on what motivates individuals, or they are need based, and the contemporary theories emphasize on the actual process of motivation or they are function based. The important content theories are Maslow's need hierarchy theory, McGregor's theory X and theory Y, Herzberg's two factor theory, McClellan's achievement theory, and Aldefer's ERG theory. And the important process theories to be discussed here is Edwin Locker's goal setting theory, B.F. Skinner's reinforcement theory, and Victor Room's expectancy theory the first and most important of course the fundamental theory of human motivation is Abraham Maslow's need hierarchy theory Maslow classified human needs into five hierarchical levels he also believes that human needs can be arranged in a hierarchical order that means only after satisfying the first level of needs, they move to the next level or higher levels of needs. The first need suggested by Maslow is physiological or survival needs. That means need for food, shelter, clothing, etc. The second is safety or security needs. That is need for job security, insurance, etc. Third is social or affiliation needs, need for love affection, family, friends, etc. Fourth is ego or esteem needs, need for getting respect, recognition, authority, etc. The highest level of need is self-actualization needs, that means achieving one's highest potential in his life. The relevance of Maslow's theory is that people are in different levels of needs. So first of all, manager has to understand in which level of need a particular person is. Then only he can devise a strategy for motivating him. The second important theory of motivation is Herzberg's two-factor theory. Frederick Herzberg classified the factors that affect motivation into two hygiene factors and motivational factors. Hygiene factors otherwise known as dissatisfiers and motivational factors otherwise known as motivators. The important dissatisfiers are working condition, company policies and administration practices, salary and benefit, supervision, status, job security, relationship with other workers, personal life, etc. And the dissatisfiers are actually those factors, the presence of those factors will not motivate an employee but the absence may dissatisfy an employee. And motivators are those factors, the presence will motivate an employee but the absence may not dissatisfy an employee. 
the important motivators are recognition achievement advancement growth responsibility and job challenge the relevance of hersberg's two factor theory is that there are certain factors that are inherent in every job by providing this set of factors hersberg called it as hygiene factors you cannot motivate an employee to motivate an employee you have to provide something extra that is not present in every organization next important content theory is macgregor's theory x and theory y this is actually an assumption about basic nature of human beings macgregor's says there are two set of people he called it as theory x and theory y people belongs to theory x are inherently dislike for work they are unambitious and they prefer to be directed by others they avoid responsibility they lack creativity and resist change and there is another group of people called theory y they take work as natural like rest or play they are ambitious and capable of directing their own behavior they accept and seek responsibility under proper conditions their creativity is widely spread so the relevance of this theory is that to motivate the theory x group the manager has to use certain control measures close supervision and bureaucratic style is preferred and to manage theory y group the manager has to go for decentralization participation in decision making democratic leadership and so on the next important content theory is maclen's achievement theory david c maclen has classified the human needs into three categories need for power need for affiliation and need for achievement need for power stands means need for authority need for control etc and need for affiliation it stands for social needs need for friendship need for relationship with others etc and need for achievement means uh, is an internal drive to excel in his work or to achieve a higher level of growth in his life the relevance of this theory is that uh, the people have different type of needs and the manager has to understand uh, how to motivate an employee using his need the last content theory of motivation discussed here is aldevers erg theory clayton aldevers classified human needs into three categories existence relatedness and growth this theory is actually a modification of all maslow's need hierarchy theory the existence here stands for maslow's physiological needs and security needs and relatedness here stands for maslow social needs and external component of ego needs and growth here stands for maslow's internal component of ego needs and self actualization needs so the only difference between aldevers erg theory and maslow's hierarchy theory is that maslow assumed hierarchy of needs but aldevers says needs can happen in any order and even two needs can happen simultaneously so next we can move to the process theories of motivation the first of it is edwin locke's goal setting theory this theory says that the important motivating factor is the challenging goal that means the challenging goal itself can act as a powerful motivator that means what is a challenging goal is goal is neither too easy nor too hard that means the goal it is something that can be achieved if you put little bit higher effort so to motivate people your goal should be challenging the next important process theory of human motivation is b of skinner's reinforcement theory according to him there are two types of behavior desirable behavior and undesirable behavior the desirable behavior have to be repeated and the undesirable behavior have to be eliminated 
This can be done. Desirable behavior can be made repeated by either by positive reinforcement or by negative reinforcement. Similarly, undesirable behavior can be eliminated either by extinction or by punishment. What is positive reinforcement? It means positive behavior followed by positive consequences. Example, manager prizes the employee. So definitely he will repeat that positive behavior again. Second, negative reinforcement. Positive behavior followed by a removal of negative consequences. That means manager stops nagging the employee. In this case also, he will repeat that positive behavior again. Punishment. Negative behavior followed by negative consequences. Example, manager demotes the employee. So in this case, he will stop that behavior. Extinction. Negative behavior followed by removal of positive consequences. That means manager ignores the behavior. In this case also, he will stop that negative behavior. So the last theory of motivation discussed here is Victor Room's expectancy theory. According to him, motivation is a function of three factors. Expectancy, instrumentality and values. Expectancy is the perceived probability that an effort will lead to good performance or otherwise belief in his ability to do a task. And instrumentality is the perceived probability that good performance will lead to desired outcome or otherwise his believes that he will get a reward for his performance. And valence is that value expected, value of expected outcome to the individual or otherwise uh, it is the belief that uh, the reward can satisfy his needs. Only when these three factors are there, a person can be motivated. If you have any doubt in these discussions, you can contact me at abbasvatoli at the rate yahoo.